Yes lads, Bailey here. So today I'm going to be doing the 4 and 2 and 2 bracket 2 formation review. It's a slightly different formation to the last one I reviewed in terms of the fact that it's a lot less uh, dependent on the wide players. This one's a lot more compact and I actually find it quite effective, especially post patch. Uh, saying that, it's been about freaking, f like f I don't know, 5 months, 4 months since we last got a patch. They've just given up with the game it seems. But uh, yeah, anyway. I'm going to get into the custom tactics now. So I like to play attacking custom tactics because at this stage in the game I'm not you don't really take it as serious as when it is more competitive. So press on heavy touch and balanced is one of them. I find this one probably the most effective out of the three I'm going to show you. This one I'd probably start off uh, the game with. Pre uh, nice and high up the pitch and then I'll have getting behind stay forward on these I'll have my cam on getting to the box for cross so on defence they're not going to necessarily be as deep as if you had them on get back or come back on defence or they won't be as high as if you had to stay forward but the getting to uh, the box for cross I think is key because your cam will most likely be the one what runs around the back post area and often unmarked I found from using this formation when you do get into a crossing position but by having them on get uh, into the box for cross it just basically means that they'll be a bit higher up than if you just had them on uh, what's it called balanced for cross runs and then yeah the uh, right centre mid I have on stay back while attacking uh, but if the right centre mid to be honest just does what he likes in his formation it's just the stay back while attacking means it's a little bit more disciplined but he'll still get forward and then the left centre mid I have on uh, get forward and then the CDM you just want to be sitting back so stay back while attacking cover centre full backs I have join attack on both but to be fair balance attack would work just as well uh, because that probably balance attack might even be a little bit better if you want to play more I know balance sort of football but still attacking if that makes sense uh, so yeah that I find uh, having but uh, having joined the attack on both my full backs uh, just basically means they'll be the ones who operate in that wide area but they'll still tend to be back on def uh, for defence when my opposite full back so let's say my left back goes up the pitch my right back will stay back and then centre backs obviously stay back while attacking this is one if I'm kind of chasing the lead press after possession loss high width high depth and then obviously balanced again for the reasons I said before the instructions here are just pretty much the same apart from I just don't have stay back while attacking on my uh, right centre mid I just have them on balanced uh, they're all the same though and then this one's really if you're just holding on to a lead against someone who's just been a bit of a prickle game uh, low depth drop back yeah, to be honest you could probably put on one if you really wanted and then possession just try and keep the ball say it's the 80th minute onwards just try and keep the ball from your position and the instructions I just have it on balance balance pretty much I actually uh, what's it called forgot to put the stay back while attacking on a lot of these but yeah I just do this if I was using cover centre stay back while attacking uh, and then stay back while attacking pretty much on everyone come back even on your strikers if you want to be a bit of a prick just say come back on defence but yeah, they're the uh, custom tactics and I'm going to show you some players I'd recommend for these positions in this formation now. So yeah, here are some of the sort of players I'd recommend for these positions. Obviously it doesn't have to be the best version of these cards, but goalkeeper kind of preference. For your right back, I'd recommend either Aurier or Jao Cancelo. Um, these are both very good cards, they're both pretty decent going forward and also strong defensively especially Aurier with the uh, what's it called 99 jumping that's a very good card there uh, but also Danny Alves is another option you could go for at right back centre halves is really just choice but Van Dijk's incredible Ramos is incredible even Rio Ferdinand who I've used for what yeah 1,333 games is just fantastic at the back uh, but for your left backs you kind of want again a more attacking option a bit like the right back 
but your left back I find you have more of a wider range of choices for the attacking versions you have this Marcelo obviously an incredible card you have this Marcos Alonso was also a fantastic card if you've done the SBC uh, Roberto Carlos is another option you even have that Salah the uh, foot birthday Salah what's another good option to use so your CDM you just want someone you can obviously cut passing lanes stop the game so this Sergio Busquets scream card how much actually is it right now it looks like a very good card 500k that's for that sort of card pretty good uh, but obviously you have a Patrick Vieira or a Kante type player as well who does the job there to be honest my personal preference would be Kante in that position but Vieira and Busquets are equally as good if not Vieira is probably even better uh, for your right centre mid your right centre mid and your left centre mid are kind of the same. I mean, I've even been playing this so uh, Socrates at CDM and he's been doing a good job there. So you could even have him there as like a more defensive one. But you're looking at probably someone like a Hullet, maybe a Pogba, them sort of players. But yeah, your left centre mid also, you're looking for an attacking version of a player. So like that Socrates or maybe a De Bruyne or something like that. And then your cams. See, you could even use De Bruyne or cam, but it's down to personal preference. I like a small cam who's quite agile and can move. Someone like this player of the month, Hazard, which is a fantastic card. Very happy I've done him. Or you could have someone like a Neymar. Nice to see the dynamic images want to work. Uh, but yeah, you could have someone like a Neymar there. He's very good as well. And then your strikers. See... I mean, I've got two very expensive choices. You've got Cristiano Ronaldo. Obviously, I have his base version in my club. And then you have R9. R9 is just R9. If you can afford him, get him. I mean, from the loan I used with him, he's fantastic. But yeah, CR7 as well. Great card. Obviously, everyone knows that. And then on other choices you could use are Mbappe, the Ibrahimovic. But also Son. This Son is actually a very good card. But an even team of the season around the corner he'll probably get, end up getting one I'd, I might have to look at picking that up one of my options but yeah I like to have someone who's pretty good at dribbling alongside Ronaldo because Ronaldo hasn't got the quick dribbling well it doesn't feel like he has quick dribbling a bit more clunky than let's say an R9 or an Mbappe I find it's maybe a speed dribbler or something like that trait but yeah these are the sorts of players I'd use in this formation and yeah this is going to be the end of the video I will hopefully have the Manchester United E Premier League video out soon. How soon? I'm not too sure. I know I said in my other video I'd have it out the next day, and it's been like I don't know three weeks, something like that. But hopefully I'll get that out soon, and I'll probably be doing more formation reviews. And hopefully during team of the season, I'll have quite a few pack openings. I've been doing a lot more of the bronze pack method recently, and it's been quite quite effective and also been trading beforehand I might release some videos on that probably the trading side more because everyone knows about the bronze pack method now but yeah I have quite a few good trading tips I might release videos on them if you uh, have any suggestions put them in the comments hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this helps you a bit and it's quite an attacking version or quite an attacking football uh, dependent formation in my opinion because you have the full backs attacking but yeah if you did enjoy the video please do leave a like comment any suggestions subscribe if you know and i'll see you next time